这轮英超的北伦敦德比比以往都更重要，因为这个赛季的争四大战比夺冠的争夺。更加激烈，所以今天球迷会请到两位重量级的嘉宾，一位是从一九八八年到九五年为阿森纳效力了二百二十八次的枪手名宿凯文·坎贝尔，另一位呢是著名的媒体制作人、阿森纳球迷博主索菲·伊古拉乌。Looking at the season so far, you're twelve,、uh, twenty games in, thirty-five points, sitting fifth on the table. Are you pleased? I think, as an Arsenal fan, you have to be pleased.、Uh, we're a team in transition. We're a team that has had to get rid of a lot of players who've been at the club for a very long time. For me, I think this has been surprising. But at the same time, Kevin and I really believed in the signings that we made this summer. There was a lot of noise around some of our signings. You've paid too much for Ben White. Who is Tommy Arsu? Twenty-five million for Ramsdale. Well, how much would Ramsdale go for in the transfer market now? So, as an Arsenal fan, I don't think you can complain about where we're at. The problem is, is that now we're in this position. We've got a taste for the potential of finishing in the top four. And maybe getting back into the Champions League, not because we can win it, but the fact that we can invest the money from it to keep up with the teams that have gone a little ahead of us over the last few years. When you look at what Arsenal have done this season, as opposed to last season, it's chalk and cheese. The new players were brought in, and everything started to fit in a little bit. We started, we started to get on a winning run, and we weren't playing great. Let's be honest, Arsenal weren't playing great, but. Winning cures everything, and when you win, you build momentum, and the fan base start to believe, and then a couple of performances start to come. What we're seeing now is, it's a youth takeover. The youth have taken over Arsenal, and it's up to the experienced players. If you want to be part of it, you better show up. Well, speaking of the experienced players, can we just talk about Jacka quickly?、Um, oh. Well, yeah, another reckless <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, another red card. I think I know your answer now, Kevin.、Uh, is he becoming a liability for the for the squad? Kevin, he's been a liability for years since he came to the club. He's been a liability, and I'm and I'm not detracting on is he a good player or not because he is a good player. And you know what? Of this present squad, he is the best partner for Thomas Partey, without a shadow of a doubt, right now. But you know what, Kev? Arsenal fans, anybody listening? The problem is here. He loses his head. He makes rash decisions, and he ends up costing the team by getting red cards. He's since he's been at Arsenal, he's had the most red cards of anybody in the league. <laughs> so that just tells you he is a liability to Arsenal. And I know the manager likes his leadership, but we we need players who are going to stay on the pitch, Kev. And he doesn't. There are talks of Arthur Mello joining、uh, Arsenal, perhaps on loan from Juventus. I remember people used to call him the Brazilian Iniesta.、Um, <laughs> Sophie, do, do you think he's the right type of player Arsenal should be going for? For personally, I would love us to do a loan deal for Gigi Wijnaldum,、uh, a player who has experience, knows the league, can come in, hit the ground running, and has a level of maturity to do exactly what Kevin said that we lack. Right now in the squad, for me, that's the deal I would be going after.、Uh, I know that、um, he had a decent spell at Barcelona. He didn't light the the world on fire, although Barcelona fans were upset when he joined Juventus. However, if you look at some quotes from Suarez, you would know if people think that Xhaka passes the ball sideways and backwards. You only have to kind of look at some of the rhetoric that came out of Barcelona when when he was there. He's not been great at Juventus. He got a little spell under Andrea Pirlo,、um, but he hasn't really been the shining star that, especially his transfer fee,、um, dictated that he could be. I, I worry about the speed of the game for him coming in. We need a player who can come in and really have an immediate impact. And I feel like he's the type of player that will come in. And maybe need time to settle, and Arsenal cannot afford that, especially as we now have a depleted midfield. I'm not saying he's not talented. I mean, you know, he's the guy who passed the ball to Jesus, where you know Brazil won Copa America. He does have talent. You look at Vlahovic, and you think 
the dude is on fire. He's scoring goals. You can see the productivity. Uh, with Artur, I'm not sure about whether or not um, he's going to be able to do that. But a short-term fix, if it works out, great. Um, but I'm happy it's more of a loan deal versus a, a, a permanent deal because I don't think um, that would be the answer for us at this point. We really want to talk about the North London derby, but as we speak, it is now Friday evening in the UK. Um, Arsenal have submitted a request to postpone the game, uh, and we don't know what the decision will be yet. But we should um, we should definitely ask you this, Kevin. Um, you were at Arsenal uh, for seven years, and ten years including your youth career. Mm -hmm. What what does the North London derby mean to you, Kevin? It means everything. <laughs> You got to remember, not only was I a player, I was one of the lucky ones to... I supported Arsenal when I was in nappies. First time I went to Highbury was seven years old. And the club it has been my life. Of course, there are loads of London derbies, but this is the game that you do not lose. It <laughs> means so much to get one over on the rivals. Yeah. We beat them up at, at the Emirates. Mm -hmm. And now we have a, a chance for the fan base to be there at their new stadium and for us to get a win. So, listen, it means so much to us to, to, to win this game. I understand, you know, it might be postponed, but I want it played. I'd, I'd rather play it yeah. because you get it postponed and you just never know what's going to come down the line. I don't, think they're, I don't think they're a great team. Spurs have improved. But I don't. I don't think they're a good. That I don't think they're a good side. I don't. I think they have good players. Mm. I think anybody with Kane, um, Son, and Mora are going to cause opposition problems. But you look at everybody else. I don't think they're a great side. Can they win? Of course they can win. Yeah. It's a game of football. But do I fear them, N Kevin? No way. <laughs> There's only two games you can't lose all season, Kevin, and that is home and away to Tottenham. And then the rest is gravy. So, yeah, I would love for it to go ahead as well. Um, without Son, Tottenham are weaker. I know this is going to be difficult, but can you tell us your predictions uh, for, for this game, if it goes ahead, Sophie? The thing about Arsenal is we've built this character now at the back which is very difficult to break down. We played 71 minutes against Liverpool Football Club at Anfield and we're the only team this season in all competitions where they haven't been able to score a goal. And we did that with 10 men. The character and the charisma and personality of our back five, including Ramsdale, has become something that is evoking a very special old school Arsenal defensive vibe about it. So because of them, I think that, you know, if we can bang bang in our chances and our goals, Super Kevin Campbell style, um, I think that we could walk away from this winning 3-1. Kev, I, I put it a little closer, solely because we don't have the midfield that we would like. We win the game 2-1. It's going to be hotly contested. I think we rely on our defence and we play a little bit like they do, where they play on the counter-attack. We let them come and attack us. We win the ball and then we break. We have the speed, we have the tenacity and we have the directness to hurt Tottenham. So you didn't expect us to go against Arsenal, did you, Kevin? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sophie says 3-1, I say 2-1. 2-1 to Arsenal.